Good afternoon to everyone. This is Alvik Alagao. Today, or this afternoon, I'm gonna sing a song entitled More Than Wonderful. But before that, I will explain why is it more than wonderful. In Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, King James Version, it says, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I will show you, or I will tell you, why is it Isaiah 9, 6, telling all this title of this child that is going to be born on that time so Isaiah 9 6 speaks about the Messiah is coming or the the Savior is coming to earth or to be born on earth and his name shall be called you know already who is that king of kings and the lord of lords right so that is jesus jesus is the future king at that time that is going to be born that this isaiah predicts that this wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father the prince of peace is all attributes to jesus christ and that is Jesus Christ. It represents to Jesus Christ. So, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, you can see that Jesus is going to be born in a virgin, and that is Mary. So, I will stop about that. I will continue to Isaiah 9 6. Isaiah 9 6 represents about the responsibility of Jesus to govern the people on earth with peace and righteousness. That's it. The greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. That's it. Over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and until the end or in the future or everlasting that's it the two titles of jesus christ here as a leader on earth was he was a wonderful counselor he should be a prince of peace these two titles represent us to be a human responsibility as a responsible leader here on earth. That is the first two titles of Jesus Christ on this verse 9, Isaiah 9, 6. And the second two more titles, which are Mighty God and Everlasting Father, represents to God, or it is the title for his uh, godly deity that is called mighty god yung god dito how to spell god here it is a big g not small g big g represents to the greatness of god the god who is in heaven the god who is watching over us the god who gives us peace and righteousness the god who sends Jesus Christ here on earth? Okay, and the other one, everlaster, everlasting father. Jesus should be called the everlasting father. It represents to his godly and it attributes to his godly ways as a everlasting father. So don't confuse Isaiah 9 6, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It tells about the coming of the future king and that king is called jesus christ the king of king and the lord of lords amen okay let's get started for this song 
He promised us that he would be a counselor, a mighty God, and a prince of peace. He promised us that he would be a father, and he would love us with a love that would not cease. Oh, while I tried him and I found his promise are true. His everything he said that he would be. The finest words I know could not begin to tell just what Jesus really means to me. For he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He's more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes and fondest dreams. He's everything that my soul ever longed for, everything he promised and show much more he's more than amazing more than marvelous more than miraculous could ever be he's more than wonderful that's what jesus is to be I stand amazed when I think that the King of Glory would come to live within the hearts of men. Oh, I'm more just to know he really loves me when I think of who he is and who I am. For he is more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He is more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes and fondest dreams. He's everything that my soul ever longed for, everything he promised, and so much more. He's more than amazing, more than marvelous, more than miraculous could ever be. He's more than wonderful. That's what Jesus is to me. He's more than wonderful to me. That's all for today. This is the only song that is very, very uh, excellent for me is because it predicts about the coming of the future king on earth on that early previous age before Jesus was born. It 
talks about in the Old Testament that Jesus Christ is going to be born. And it shows in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, that Jesus was born in a virgin. And that is Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, here on earth. So that's all I can say for today. I hope you enjoy the music and enjoy the song. It's all about Jesus, wonderful Jesus, the mighty God, Counselor, Prince of Peace. Thank you for listening to this song. Love you all.